Hi, welcome to the 3D Pendant. In the last video, I made an Easter basket. But that is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to making containers with 3D pen. You can make all kinds of different shapes, minimalistic or richly decorated, big and small. The trick is to control the shape and size. So let's look at how to go about it. round container is just a series of circles stacked one on top of each other. For this demo, I use the 3D made matte circle segment, which is great because it helps you make perfect circles. But unfortunately, it works only for circles up to 5 inches in diameter. If you need to work bigger, you need bigger concentric circles grid. You can either make one or these are available in the 3D Pendant Etsy store in two sets which include all kinds of other geometric shapes as well. Including some that will work for color coding and dividing the 3D made matte shapes to use underneath your mat for some more divisions and additional guidance. The sets from 3D Pendant Etsy store are made to print on the regular letter-sized paper. But if you need it even bigger, you can scale them up to 200% or whatever you need, print them in tile format and tape them together. Now I can make 16 inch circle and that makes some pretty big things. But if you are just starting out the 5 inch matte grid might be a good place to start to see how this process works. Besides your pen and filament, you will need a turntable and spacers, which is something that's easy to make and links to those videos are in the description. These spacers work best with the scale of the 5 inch circle from the mat. If you decide to work bigger, you will need to scale up to bigger turntable and some bigger sticks of various thicknesses to lift your circles. And speaking of bigger circles, the bigger they are, the harder it is to keep them round. So here is a link how to make a circle ruler to help with that if you wish or just trace them by hand, which is what I'm going to do for this video. Now let's do a bit of planning to decide which circles we need to make and how far apart they need to be in order to get the size and shape of the object we want. draw half of it, but make sure the largest circle is not bigger than what you have available in your circle pattern. circles from the ones you have available in the pattern and put them where they meet your shapes outline. You can add as many as you need to define your shape. And then the in-between spaces 
define how far they need to be from each other. So here is the spacer height right there. Make a note of what size circles you need to make. Here I am using the whole inch and half inch measurements. Joining the circles works best if you work from small to large. So I'm going to make this shape in three parts that go from narrower to wider. With two gaps in between where I'm going to eventually join them. I'm going to plan my spacer sizes one section at a time so I can reuse them and not need as many. to start tracing our circles. Cover your circle pattern with some pen-friendly work surface and make sure you tape them together so they move together. If you use 3D Mate Matte or the before mentioned circle ruler, your circles will be a lot more precise but I am going to trace them by hand, so you can see this process is possible even without having all that. vertical's to the grid as you like but keep in mind those are not quite attached yet until you attach them edit out our center keepers to make our vessel hollow. Keep the first and the last brace in place until the very end if you are planning to further decorate your vessel. But you can also stop right there if the point is to show off the contents. So keep experimenting, stay tuned, and until next time, go and make something! Mm -hmm.